Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm pretty excited. I found something that I haven't seen anyone else use, so I don't think I'm copying anyone's idea here. But what I was finding was in Arena, I'm going to make a video later on about Arena speed uh, monsters and why speed's so important and how to beat it. But I had to put this one out there because this guy, I've only just realized how good he is for Arena. Um, so in Arena, at the stage I'm at, if I will go to my Arena log, um, and if you see the on the right hand side, you can see victory streaks. Uh, I am on an early access to the new um, the new update, so that's why you can see this. Um, I've made a video with Childish where we go through all the different um, changes they've made in this update. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description. It's on his channel, so go check that out if you're curious about it. Um, but basically, the one I'll just explain here is victory streaks. The more wins you get on your offense in a row. Um, the better rewards you get and the rewards are actually really good and they scale with your um, Your league you're in so that's that but the main thing is when I go to look for a battle a lot of teams now is um, This one's a bit different because he doesn't have a booster, but a lot of enemies will have I'll just refresh a couple times It's proving me to be a liar, but they have something like this the wind dragon or a booster or something like that and basically if the enemy's uh, fastest monster is faster than my earth zealot I'm gonna lose the battle and a lot of these speed offenses are the same where I mean sorry speed defenses are the same ways if you're faster than them you're gonna win um, so I was at a stage where I'm farming wrath like crazy to get faster haste glyphs but I just can't get fast enough and the, I, I, I decided to go through another look through all the monsters, see if I could find something, and that led me to this guy. So his passive is what makes him. So as a base, he has the speed buff as a passive, and speed buff is 40%. And um, through testing and a bit of calculation, I've worked out, so the, the highest base speed monster at the moment in the game is an 88 base speed, and that is this guy the fire vampire when he's evolved so he gets the plus seven speed which brings him up to 88 speed and i haven't been able to test on this against this unit but i tested against earth uh fire goblin shamans who have an 87 base speed and i managed to outspeed them with my fire monk at only this 166 speed so he might have to go up one speed to um beat the vampire but i think he should be right at this 166 but anyway, that all aside, it means you can have a monster that's faster than your enemy's fastest monster and you don't have to have amazing glyphs for it. So this even scales down to lower leagues when, sure, people don't have um, max speed haste sets, which is um, all purples with 12 speed substats. Um, so yeah, if you're just struggling and you're getting out spared a bit, this guy could even help you down in lower leagues because the glyph requirements for him is near nothing. And I've just put some spare haste glyphs on him. I know they're all purples and most people aren't at this stage, but it's just something to keep in mind so you don't feed him and you actually keep him because he's going to be very valuable later game. I can see him. Um, but yeah, I've put some spare glyphs on him. They, they Eight and seven speed substats, nothing on this, only two on this. So they're not amazing. And the good thing about this is that it means you could actually build him on like a haste um, precision set to increase his chance. And this is what makes him good of landing this second skill. So he attacks an enemy with attack increase based on own defense. It's not too bad. 60% chance of paralyzing for them for one turn. But with skill ups, that ends up being an 85% chance to paralyze. Still not 100%. It's still not a guaranteed win. So... When, it, when you go into that battle, you've pretty much got a 75% chance that you're going to paralyze them because, like I said, you can build him with accuracy, so he should always have more accuracy than that um, their fastest monster's resistance, um, meaning you'll have the 85% chance to activate, which is a 15% chance not to land it, and then once it activates, it goes into the resistance accuracy check, and there's always a 10% chance it'll be resisted. So that's an additional 10% chance it won't land. So that's a 75% chance it will land and a 25% chance it won't. So not a guaranteed thing, but it's a way that it gives you a chance against enemies you otherwise would just have no hope against because 
you just can't um, outspeed them and then they destroy you before then. So mine isn't skilled yet. I'm going to work on him soon. But I just see it as a lot of teams. I'm in gold two at the moment, which is the second highest league there is. I think the highest league at the moment is gold three. And a lot of defenses are speed defenses. So this is my new little secret weapon. It, it's going to work against me if more people start using it because people that I'm faster than will start beating me. But it, it's healthy for the game and it, it'll make people um, maybe even think about different styles of defense. But um, he's, and, and if when I look at his other skills, because I'm actually keen to um, five-star him and build him because he also has that base defense buff and a counter-attack ch a chance. And his second attack does do damage based on defense. And when you evolve him, he also gets both his attacks um, are based off defense, the evolution skills. And if you get this one, I think it'll be really handy, blinding enemies. So with his passive revenge, he's going to revenge and blind people and play the stall game. Um, I can see him being fantastic. I actually really like him for this. He could even be handy in a tanky sort of defense where you get first turn, but don't rely on him to just beat your enemies because he's faster on defense because they can just put an earth monster with an immunity glyph and it sort of negates what he can do um but yeah just to show you this um we'll quickly look at my earth zealot so he is at 217 speed my monk is at 166 so we'll go into arena and test my um my offense against my defense which is with that earth zealot and it'll show you that he actually does outspeed. And we'll start here. Obviously, mine's is very average. I've only got about a 50% chance to of landing this um, debuff just because I don't have the skill ups in him. But you can see I've outsped my Earth Zealot, who's at that 200 and I think it was 19 speed. And then I use that second skill. Okay, it didn't work. And he derped. So I'll just quit exit that again and just try and show you so that he actually does land it. Like I said, it's only a 50% chance um, of landing, but once I skill him up, it'll be an 85%, sorry, a 75% chance once you take into account uh, resistance and accuracy. But yeah, this is one I'm really excited about. It's just a cool little mechanic that I hadn't even considered. And um, so there you go. He moved first, but he was stunned. So then it, it, it leaves room for my um, zealot to boost and then freeze and armor rake and then I can just uh, wipe it out so that's the typical sort of speed defense you'll see a booster or like a fire goblin shaman or something like that um, the wind dragon just anything that interrupts and then followed by their nukers so and I'll even I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant to do this because I know I've only got a 50% chance if I um, go for a revenge and I'm on a 23 win streak that I want to keep going but um snow de crow um if you haven't seen him he does youtube as well he doesn't his main youtube is in english but he does stream and he's very fluent in english and he does um very very entertaining stream so be sure to check him out on twitch i'll leave uh, links to his channels in the description but um he, he messaged me and said oh how did you beat me did did i derp and i was like no nah, i've got a secret weapon so i thought i'd show him i'm hoping i get this 50 percent chance to um to win so he's got that fire vampire he doesn't have a max speed set yet so this isn't a proper test against a max speed set but as you can see i'm just faster than that vampire so fingers crossed that i actually stun him no oh he derped that's okay this time snow you did derp but like you can see um with the skill ups you get you get a higher chance of landing that and then um yeah you can stun them their, their, their whole speed aspect of their team is disabled and it leaves you open to move through and clean them up. So that's pretty much it for this. It's it's just something I was really excited when I found and um, I know most people think that, the, that the, most of the monks are trash besides the water one, but I just thought to save people feeding him when he could actually prove to be very useful for a lot of people later on, um, I'd make this video. So... I hope this helps some people out there. I know a lot of you are much more early game, so it won't help you yet, but I hope you see some value in this later on in the future. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Cheers.